Morning folks, Phil here. Happy, happy Sunday to you. It's a nice one here in the UK. Pretty glorious sun. Autumnal colours. Reds. Beautiful. Very pleased. Very pleased. If I'm looking a little bit strange, I've just got some new very vocals. And uh, I'm getting used to I'm getting used to the, the woo, and if you turn your head too too quickly, one of the magnifications takes over and the other one goes away. But um, so far, so good. So far, so good. And I can actually see a distance. And uh, normally I'd have my readers on if I'm reading, and I'm forever having to go like this to talk to people. Don't have to do that anymore. This is fantastic. So life is crisper again. So oh, enough of a rambling intro. We're reviewing a tobacco today. It's been far too long. And what are we reviewing? I can only show you through antiquities. Oh, look at that. Exmoor cut cake. We're not reviewing that, but isn't that a beautiful tin? Isn't that a beautiful tin? W.O. Biggs and Co. One ounce cut cake. Don't know if that meant it was in little flakes or oh, I've no idea here's another example I found in car boot sales Exmoor Hunt Mixture W.O. Biggs & Co this is a bit more of a tin we might expect medium cut I imagine this is ready rubbed but who knows there's nothing in there I've definitely checked but we have a modern incarnation of that from our friends from Gowick and Hogarth up in Kendall and they've come they have something in their vast stable called Kendall Exmoor mixture so Kendall Exmoor mixture is a ready rubbed old-fashioned old-timey mixture of Virginia Burley and Latakia I am down to the penultimate bowl. Can you see that tobacco? It's getting a bit dry because I haven't smoked it. I go through phases where I enjoy a Latakia, phases where I do not. Of my 40 pipes, counted 40 active pipes, counted them this morning. Um, four of them are dedicated to this genre. That tells you I've kind of relegated it. But I keep them around, and this is one, just in case I get the urge again. And it does happen. It does happen. Anyway, that's what this tobacco looks like. Bright brown and black. Very pretty. Let's light up here. So I just gravity filled this bowl, gave it a couple of minor taps inwards. And now, so to start off with, there's no Lakeland essence in this. This is just natural tobacco. The Virginias are in the bready zone. The Burleys, obviously, they're in the nutty zone. The Latakia is very good in this one. It's, uh, I think with Latakia, it depends on what, what it's been burned with, what sort of botanicals they've used. And this one, it's very flavorful. It's not creosote, campfire, tarry Latakia, which I actually do Kind of like when I get it. This one is more herbal. As if they've thrown a bunch of bouquet garnies in and they've cured it that way somehow. And all together gives you a really pleasant light English. And um Well, I'm kind of conditioned to expect Orientals to come into it. 
that sort of musty, dusty, oily Turkish leaf. This is just much cleaner and much simpler. Very sweet, very light, very smoky. The interplay between these three components is beautiful. So, um, I was pleasantly surprised. I've only ever had another sort of English that used Burley, and that was um, Cornell and Deal Big in Burley, which has got much more stouter, stronger Burley component. And that is, I mean, it's all about the Burley, but fact it's got that attack you're in there it does work it does work and I don't know if the original was um, these components I somehow doubt it it's one thing about GH. They don't tend to bother with oriental leaf. Samuel Goweth do. But even though like they're what they call their Balkan flake, I don't think it actually has Orientals in it. Well this is amazingly light and sweet and fragrant and it's just such an easy going smoke it's not a chore and honestly nothing dominates it it's just a perfect sort of harmony and considering how little black sort of there is in there i'm a bit surprised that um the Lataki comes out at all. But it does. But it doesn't bomb you. These sort of components, historically, were always what they call spice components. Perique, spice component. Throw a little bit in, like salt and pepper on a steak. You know what I mean? Well, somehow... We've all sort of moved to lap bombs and parik bombs. That's, you know, which is fine. It's just, you know, things change. But um, in an old fashioned mixture, that isn't what you get. And if you were somebody who always smoked, I don't know, Capstan or some Bruno or something like that, and you'd have this sort of thing as a, an occasional treat, I think you'd really enjoy it. Really just sort of change the pace. So I'd say if you're a non Latakia lover, but you, you might be interested, I would pick this up. I would say that if you're a heavy English smoker, I'd probably give it a pass because um, it will probably be too light for you. But if you th like things like Presbyterian mixture, um, I was trying to think of another one, but the Presbyterian mixture comes to mind. Although that does have, um, that does have that. Uh, oriental in it but if you like big and burly but you don't want the nicotine bomb that goes
goes with it and the roughness, this could be a good, good sort of substitute. So it's a very niche blend, I would say. But for a guy like me that doesn't smoke it that often, this is the sort of thing I, I could quite happily come back to. So, out of the scale of five, well, one is throw it away. Well, two is not for me. Three is it's okay. Nothing more, nothing less. Four is yummy. I think I'll buy more. Five is unicorn blend, so your mother. It's just a three. It's just a three. Um, it's pleasant. But it doesn't make me want to smoke more Latarkia. Yeah. It doesn't make me want to go out and buy any more. Um, it has its good smokes and its sort of okay smokes. But on an average, it's pretty much just right. You know, it's middle of the ground. And um, in this era of them making cutbacks left, right and centre at the tobacco places, you know, getting rid of blends that don't sell very well. I, I can full well imagine this one disappearing. But I bought it basically because um, I wanted to see what the history might be all about. And I don't know if it's the same. But I should imagine Lataki is probably the only thing those blends have in common. <laughs> all right, folks. Uh, if this is one of your favorites and I've just uh, pooed on it, I apologize, but uh, I have to give my own opinion. Um, there'll be more coming around the mountain when we get there. But for now, you lot take care. Have an excellent weekend, and I'll see you on the next tobacco review. Thanks an awful lot for spending your Sunday with me. See you later.